There's actually a, a second notable feature in, in claims made in reported policies. These policies typically allow you not only to provide notice of claims, but to provide notice of circumstances or potential claims. The policies basically state that if during the policy period, you become aware of a circumstance, an incident, a wrongful act, that although it hasn't resulted in an actual lawsuit, you think that it might later result in a lawsuit, you can provide notice of that incident or that wrongful act to the insurance company during the policy period. And then if later on, after the policy expires, somebody ends up filing a lawsuit against you based on that circumstance or that wrongful act, your expired policy will actually cover that claim. And again, the, the importance or the value of this might not be readily evident. Let's take an example. Let's say that during a policy period, uh, you engage in an offering of securities. And shortly thereafter, you hear rumblings from purchasers that uh, they feel you've made certain misrepresentations or omissions in the offering documents. Um, and so you've got some concern that someone's going to allege that you did something wrong, but no one's filed a lawsuit against you yet. Your policy is about to expire. So you provide notice to your insurance company of this incident and you set forth the details. You had a public offering, uh, here's what it was about, here are the types of, of uh, complaints, or here's what you've heard from purchasers of the stock. And you provide the insurance company with a reason why you think that a lawsuit might actually at some point in the future be filed against you. If that comes to take place, even if that lawsuit's filed again um, a year, two years down the road, that policy that you provided notice under is going to cover that claim. And, and this accomplishes couple of related and important things for you. One, you're getting coverage for this lawsuit under a policy that no longer exists. It's, it's no longer a valid policy, it's expired. Yet that policy is going to provide coverage for this lawsuit. And related to that, of course, um, the policy that's in effect at the time the lawsuit actually is, fi is filed, you're going to preserve the, the limits of that policy for any future claims that could be filed against you. So again, in addition to considering whether or not there are actual claims, uh, that have been filed against you during the renewal process that should be reported to the insurance company. Also give thought to whether or not there are circumstances or incidents or, or things that you know have occurred during the policy period that could at some point in the future lead to a lawsuit. Provide notice of those as well prior to your policy's expiration and if unfortunately something does come of that and you do get sued later on, that policy is going to provide coverage for that action. 